my name is uh, Divala Srinivasrao. Uh, my designation is a senior assistant professor from Lakridi Balred Engineering College, Mailavaram. I enrolled uh, two courses. One is uh, compiler design and uh, another one is uh, programming in Java. Uh, compiler design, it is, it is a January 2020 exam. Uh, so assignments are also good, but uh, in the end examination, so assignment questions are uh, not given, only one or two questions are given, but uh, somewhat difficult when compared to the assignment questions in uh, end examination, uh, because only in assignments, each assignment approximately contains uh, 10 to 13 questions. Okay, so it is a 12 week course, totally 130 or 140 questions are there. In that questions, only in the end examination given only two, two or three questions. But in the end examination, they are not concentrate on important topics, only they are concentrate on unimportant uh, concept. So because of that reason, the end examination is somewhat difficult when compared to the uh, assignments. Okay. Next, uh, while coming to the programming in Java, so assignment questions are very useful. Uh, while, prepa uh, while preparing for an examination. So, compared to the compiler design, uh, programming in Java is uh, somewhat easy because uh, I prepared uh, assignment questions and uh, some, uh, some notes that are given in the downloaded portion. So, it is very useful. Uh, I wrote uh, programming in Java exam very well when compared to the compiler design. Uh, because compiler design course is somewhat difficult. Okay. In the future, uh, I want to write some uh, extend, uh, advanced uh, courses in NPTEL examinations. So, thank you for giving this opportunity. Thank you. My name is Sai Kumar. I am in the University of Bharati. And I am in the Advanced Computer Technology course. So, videos, everything, uh, I mean, any bound nahi. Like and assignments uh, uh, submitted and and uh, videos are very informative. So and exam gurun chappalante exam is uh, moderate. I mean not very difficult and not very easy. So it is uh, moderate difficult. So uh, anyone who enrolled in this can you know uh, can uh, attempt this and can get a certificate uh, with the with a pass aggregate of nearly 60 to 70 percent so it is very moderate That's so this course is useful for gaining a knowledge for you yes uh, absolutely yes yes uh, i'll go with yes yes it is very useful because uh, now uh, here they, they have covered uh, many topics uh, which which haven't covered in my college so it is very useful yes compared. which courses you are looking for uh, for uh, as I was in civil engineering, so maybe uh, I'll look after, I mean, uh, I mean I, I'm interested in uh, concrete section, so maybe I'll take that courses. I am, I'm Amrita, I'm coming from Vijayawada, I'm studying in Sastra, which is in Tamil Nadu. NPTEL is good platform to learn. I took the course automation in manufacturing. Uh, it is very great experience because you can learn everything, uh, basics of mechatronics in one course. I prefer this course. I refer this course to everyone. Please do join the course and experience it. Thank you. My name is Monica. I'm from IIT Tirupati. Uh, it was very interesting doing this course. I have learned many basics and uh, uh, advanced in this course. Uh, I have took the course uh, from Interaction to Embedded Systems and exam was very interesting. And uh, I have done uh, assignments. Uh, exam was related to uh, assignments and uh, uh, concept, uh, concepts from uh, videos of uh, NPTEL lectures. Uh, it was very interesting. Please take this course. Uh, thank you. Yeah, this is Dinesh from Shastra University and I'm a native from Vijayawada. So the exam is pretty easy and uh, like if you prepare, it will be easy as, as you know. And uh, the PDF literally helped me and uh, even the 
videos which are there are literally helpful to do the exams if you I mean, if you watch all the videos and the pdfs you can answer them uh, like machine learning or something that's it uh, hi this is uh, m ravi kumar uh, assistant professor and i am working in uh, uh, pvp siddhartha institute of engineering and technology pvp sit and today i am here uh, to write the nptel exam on uh, design of photovoltaic system Uh, actually we have already seen all the videos uh, delivered by the eminent uh, professors and we have practiced all the assignments over there and weekly assignments also we have submitted in time and uh, after seeing all those videos only uh, what i understood is uh, we can attempt the assignments uh, of course even though uh, if you start attempting an assignment uh, or uh, uh, without seeing the videos uh, i think it is not possible sometimes some students may think that uh, without seeing uh, videos itself they can attempt the assignments but it is being not possible definitely through somehow you want to watch all the videos then only you are in a situation to attempt the assignments so the, uh, regarding assignment also it is taking lot of time to answer all the questions coming to the end exam pattern this time little bit we felt uh, difficult uh, with respect to the design of photovoltaic system uh, because more and more lot of uh, problems are given okay Uh, literally even though we have uh, sit uh, sit over there uh, for 3 hours uh, time is not sufficient this time previously also attempted but uh, this time the paper seems to be very tough uh, more problems are given uh, the time has been not sufficient and uh, not even a single problem is matched from the assignments all are new problems only all are new questions uh, previous assignments work to some extent it is uh, helpful but all the questions are newly framed uh, not even a single question uh, is uh, repeated from the assignments is this course useful for yeah obviously this course will be definitely useful uh, those who want to uh, design any photovoltaic system uh, really it will be helpful uh, how much uh, rating of the parents are required what should be the sizing of the battery what should be the sizing of the inverter and if you want to pump out uh, some huge amount of water uh, from the ground how much ratings of motors are required and uh, what about the particular insulation level at some particular area so, so many so many applications point of view the subject will be really very helpful uh, so this is your most interesting subject yeah nptel uh, most of the courses uh, uh, latest technology solar or on wind and uh, recently we are he hearing about uh, applications of this uh, data science related to the electrical engineering such kind of courses also we are interested and uh, uh, network analysis uh, non conventional energy sources such kind of courses uh, we are interested and also electric vehicles such kind of things my name is sira goro i am from vignans university vatlamudi training head today i have written the exam on train the trainers this is the fourth uh, nptel exam i am writing i have written about 12 coursera courses my age is 70 yeah the training is very good and very encouraging the arrangements here also very good i am very much satisfied i want to do some more uh, training programs thank you thank you very much and pt your soft skills my subject is soft skills i train up and train the trainers it is a challenging uh, training program uh, hello in ptl people uh, this is rajesh kumar uh, uh, i'm faculty at uh, kl university uh, actually i used to take uh, c programming uh, java programming as well as uh, python programming uh, but as far as uh, their assignments and uh, Uh, what is that? I mean, uh, uh, home assignments are concerned and uh, training are concerned. It's uh, very much interesting, and as well as uh, IQ development is there, and uh, programming skill can be uh, developed that much. Uh, so that's what I have. Uh, I mean, uh, learned from this uh, assignments, and uh, they can uh, improve the assignments uh, through uh, giving answers also. Uh, they have given but um, uh, we, we as a faculty i can say that i mean i have not find i mean found a time to solve all those things but uh, they have given uh, 12 assignments so it's uh, somewhat uh, 
uh, I mean, uh, uh, more for us, but uh, students can do it. Uh, if they are really having the interest uh, to enter into the software company, na, they can, uh, certainly they can do it. Uh, actually, I have uh, come across the, I mean, computer, I mean, uh, uh, programming skill, uh, I mean, uh, uh, PSCP, I mean, programming uh, skills for engineers like that. Uh, okay, uh, it's very nice. And uh, today also, it's uh, very, I mean, uh, uh, for uh, a 90 minutes, uh, uh, last 90 minutes, I was uh, I mean, uh, staring with the coding. So, it's very nice to, nice experience to come across those, uh, uh, what is that, uh, test. Thank you very much. My name is Anjana Sri Ratyashmi. I'm studying in tech. In transportation engineering, I used the course of multimodal transportation systems, which helped me in doing my project as well as in my mini project. The course content is very clear and we can learn easily and effectively. The main concepts are easily understandable by everyone and live interaction sessions are really very helpful for clarification for the doubts. Thank you. Hi, I am Chandra Shreddy and I am studying second year in the PVP Siddhartha Institute of Technology. And I did the problem solving through programming scene program. This is my first course in NPTEL. I would like to do more courses in the future. And uh, I'm interested in doing the problem solving in Java and Python, etc. This is very useful to the students to do these courses and it is helpful to their future. And I would like to do more courses. The assignments and the, the videos were very helpful to gain knowledge and to improve our skills. My name is Satish and I am from Sastra University, Tanjavur. Uh, I have used, uh, written the soft skills exam here and the uh, course was useful, very useful for engineering students and not only engineering students but also for others. So I recommend of your registration for this course. Is this your first course? Yeah, this is my first course in NPT. How is the assignments? Yeah, the assignment was uh, good and the paper was also uh, answered. Was the exam given? Yeah, it was good. Which course was your interest in computer? I'm looking forward to aeronautical some courses, so I'll be looking for. So, I am Bhuvan. So, today I'm uh, writing Java exam. So, previously I have completed uh, three courses and this semester I am going to write uh, three, four uh, courses also. And the next time also I am writing exam. So regarding central, it's a nice center. So all the amenities are uh, provided. In during COVID also they managed very well. So thank you to the NPTEL. So we are looking forward to more courses, uh, more uh, emerging courses. So I am doing uh, Tribulati faculty. Uh, so we are looking for more courses. Uh, I, I would like to recommend the students also who took the courses, they can get benefited also. So, thank you very much. My name is Sirya Prakash. I am Lolly Professional University of B.Tech EC. I am going to choose my domain Emirate Systems. So, I am going to choose my course. I am going to choose my course in Emirate Systems. I am going to discuss the main fundamentals and topic discussion. I am going to talk about the exams and maximum fundamentals. I am going to talk about the fundamentals and the fundamentals. I am going to talk about the fundamentals. Uh, it will be easy task. And then in the beginning of third year, I will do the minor systems so that I can do masters and uh, I will do further research in that uh, particular field. So doing this course, I learned about the MSV430 microcontroller and also some uh, programming. So I think uh, NPTEL is a better platform to improve our skill set. Which course you are interested in future? Uh, I want to do further courses on uh, microcontrollers and uh, embedded systems. Thank you. My name is Manisha. College name is Steve Haini, Institute of Science and Technology. My course is the wireless, wireless communication system. SMS and the one day, I have to use a syllabus to use a problem system. I mean, in theory, I have to use a little hard to use. I have to use a first time in the exam. Next time course, I have to use a little bit next January. Do you have to use a little bit of course? Yes, I have to use a little bit. And bond day first. Doubts and partial. Videos and assignments. Videos and assignments. If you have a problem, you have a problem. So, you have a problem. Thank you.
నా పేరు రాంబాబు అండి నేను ఉషారామ్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజీలో అస్టిన్ ప్రొఫెసర్ టిఫ్టీ డిపార్ట్మెంట్లో చేస్తాను ఇది ఫస్ట్ టైం నేను టూ కోర్సెస్ రిజిస్టర్ అయ్యాను ఒకటి కంట్రోల్ సిస్టమ్ రెండో సబ్జెక్ట్ నెట్వర్క్ అనాలిసిస్ టోటల్ అసైన్మెంట్స్ ఉంటాయి ఈచ్ అసైన్మెంట్ క్యారింగ్ ఫిఫ్టీన్ మార్క్స్ టెన్ టు ఫిఫ్టీన్ మార్క్స్ మోస్ట్ ప్రాబబ్లీ ఆల్ అసైన్మెంట్స్ ఎబో యావరేజ్ డిఫికల్టీ క్వశ్చన్స్ బట్ దట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ ఆర్ నాట్ కమ్ టు ద ప్రీయస్ ప్రీయస్ క్వశ్చన్ పేపర్స్ నెట్ ఆల్సో నాట్ అవైలబుల్ మస్ట్ అండ్ షుడ్ యూ కెన్ ప్రాక్టీస్ దట్ క్వశ్చన్స్ మనం ప్రాక్టీస్ చేస్తేనే దాన్ని చేయగలం మోడల్ అయితే అప్రోచ్ అవుతుంది కానీ సేమ్ క్వశ్చన్ రిపోర్ట్ అవుతుంది ఇది ఒక బెస్ట్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ ఉంది ఖచ్చితంగా మనం ఆ క్వశ్చన్ సాల్వ్ చేయాల్సిన అవసరం ఉంటుంది ఇది ఒక బెస్ట్ అడ్వాంటేజ్ రెండోది ఏంటంటే కాంపిటేటివ్ వరల్డ్ రిపేర్ అవటానికి ఎన్పిటిఎల్ బాగా పనిచేస్తుంది ఎక్సర్సైజ్ రూపంలో నెంబర్ ఆఫ్ మోడల్స్ కవర్ చేస్తున్నారు వీడియో లెక్చర్స్ కూడా చాలా క్లారిటీగా ఉంటుంది ట్యూటోరియల్స్ క్లాసెస్ కూడా చాలా బాగుంటాయి ఎన్పిటిఎల్ అనేది ఇట్ ఈస్ అ వెరీ గుడ్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ వెరీ ఇంప్రూవ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ నాలెడ్జ్ వెరీ ఎక్సలెంట్ ప్రోగ్రామ్ సమ్ అంటే మోస్ట్ ప్రాబబ్లీ ఆల్ స్టూడెంట్స్ అండ్ ఫ్యాకల్టీ మెంబర్స్ దే హ్యావ్ టు ప్రిపేర్డ్ ఇన్ అకాడమిక్స్ ఓన్లీ నెట్వర్క్ ఆల్ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఆర్ అకాడమిక్స్ బట్ సమ్ నాన్ అకాడమిక్ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ ఆల్సో బిజే స్మార్ట్ గ్రిడ్ ఎలక్ట్రికల్ వెహికల్స్ సమ్ రీసెర్చ్ పేపర్స్ ఆల్సో బిజే బట్ మోస్ట్ ఆఫ్ ద క్యాండిడేట్స్ నాట్ ఇంట్రెస్టెడ్ దట్ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ బట్ యూ హ్యావ్ టు ట్రై టు దట్ సబ్జెక్ట్స్ విత్ వెరీ ఇంప్రూవ్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ రీసెర్చ్ ఆల్సో ఇట్ ఈస్ అ యూజ్ఫుల్ ఫర్ ద స్టూడెంట్స్ పర్స్పెక్టివ్లీ ప్రిపేర్ ఫర్ ద గేట్ ఇట్ ఈస్ అ యూజ్ఫుల్ ఫర్ ద స్టాఫ్ ఆల్సో ప్రిపేర్ ఫర్ ద రీసెర్చ్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ ఈజ్ ఓకే ద ప్రోగ్రామ్ ఈజ్ వెరీ ఎక్సలెంట్ ఎన్ బిట్ థ్యాంక్ యూ వర్కింగ్ యాజ్ అసోసియేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ ఇన్ ద డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ మెకానికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ వాస్తవ వెంకటనాథ్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ టెక్నాలజీ గుంటూరు ఆటోమేషన్ ఇన్ మ్యానుఫ్యాక్చరింగ్ ఎస్ ఆల్ ద అసైన్మెంట్స్ ఆర్ వెరీ గుడ్ అండ్ ద కోర్స్ మెటీరియల్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో ప్రొవైడెడ్ బై ద ఇన్స్ట్రక్టర్ ఈస్ గుడ్ ద ఎగ్జామ్ ఆల్సో యాజ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ గాన్ త్రూ ఆల్ ద వీడియోస్ అండ్ ఐ హ్యావ్ ప్రిపేర్డ్ వెల్ ఫర్ ద ఎగ్జామినేషన్ ఐ ఫెల్ ద ఎగ్జామ్ ఈస్ ఆల్సో కంఫర్టబుల్ అండ్ ఇట్ ఈస్ వెరీ గివింగ్ గుడ్ నాలెడ్జ్ టు ద స్టూడెంట్స్ అండ్ యాక్చువల్లీ ద ఫ్యాక్ట్ ఈస్ దట్ Uh, in order to motivate our students, as I am working as a social professor, I want to motivate our students by completing the courses here. That is the reason I am doing. So far, I have completed seven courses. And this time, I am taking two subjects. Yesterday, I wrote an exam and today, one. So with this, uh, probably by with another couple of examinations, I will be able to complete the uh, uh, domain expert also. Yes, the domain expert also. Yes, I have done. Yeah, my name is Santosh. I have enrolled for Joy of Python com- Computing. I, I have enrolled for 12 weeks course. It is very good. And the lectures also explain of po- programming very well. And now I attempted the, I, I taken, I taken the exam. So in that, I got 50 questions. I attempted very well. and the feedback is very nice i i improved my program skills very well okay. i mean that is useful for your upgrading your knowledge yeah time. very before i i i am getting lots of errors in python okay though it is easy i have very small doubts in concept okay. so that is the reason i enrolled for this okay. course i got very clarified which courses you are most interested further you want to enroll yeah i am a csc student so i want to enroll in computer, computer science okay. video content is very good practical rur ke no so really they are very good all the things are quite interesting and useful to the students also and perhaps to the trainers no most i have not gone through okay. because already i have gone done four okay. and 12 uh, courses of courses then i have to see what other courses uh, i can do thank you from dr sindil velu uh, from aims mangalagiri paid for uh, basic course in uh, medical research and uh, exam uh, conducted properly with all the precautions taken for uh, covid uh, pandemic and uh, faculties involved here are very cooperative and the arrangements made here yes they made an excellent arrangement 
and uh, uh, they made sure that uh, exam went smoothly i was happy with the examination preparation yeah, i'll be applying for the other courses because it was uh, very interesting and challenging so i'll be appearing for other courses also anything related to my uh, medical specialty so many courses are there so i'll be uh, uh, applying for these courses thank you to gain the basics of biomedical research i'm from nri medical college uh so good question pattern was good everybody can uh, answer that question no problem నా మై నేమ్ ఇస్ రోహిత్ నేను పిఐపిఎస్ఐటి కాలేజీలో చదువుతున్నాను ఎన్పిటిఎల్ ఎగ్జామ్ అనేది ఇదే నాకు ఫస్ట్ టైము మన అసైన్మెంట్స్ లో మంచి స్కోర్ చేస్తే ఇది ఎగ్జామ్ ఈజీగానే ఉండేది మరి టఫ్ అని కాదు మరి ఈజీ అని కాదు ఒక మీడియం లో ఉంది ఎగ్జామ్ నేను ఇంకా ఎన్పిటిఎల్ ఎగ్జామ్స్ ఇంకా చాలా కోర్సెస్ అటెంప్ట్ చేద్దాం అనుకుంటున్నాను అంటే జావా పైతాను ఇప్పుడు నేను సీ రాసాను అసైన్మెంట్స్ చేస్తే ఈజీఏసీ వచ్చి సార్ ఈజీగా అంటే మరి ఈజీ అని కాదు సార్ కొన్ని లాస్ట్ రామ్ లాస్ట్ సెక్షన్ ఒకటి కొంచెం టఫ్ గా ఉంది అంతే టఫ్ అంటే మరీ టఫ్ కాదు మరి ఈజీ మై నేమ్ ఇస్ ప్లస్సి ఐఎమ్ ఫ్రమ్ శ్రీవాస్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ కాలేజ్ ఫ్రమ్ బ్రాంచ్ ఈసీ ఐ హ్ కమ్ హియర్ టు రైట్ ఎన్పిటిఎల్ ఎగ్జామ్ ఆఫ్ కోర్స్ ఈఎస్ కంట్రోల్ సిస్టమ్స్ ఇట్ ఎవే ఇట్ ఎవ్ ఓకెన్ మై మైండ్ ఇన్ లెర్నింగ్ మోర్ ఎన్పిటిఎల్ కోర్సెస్ హ్యావ్ Uh, improved my knowledge in uh, control systems uh, i am satisfied with the concept i have learned it was easy uh, if we learned uh, in a theoretical way if we understand the concepts and uh, practice assignments regularly then it will be easy thank you hey sajay babu and i am from nit arunachal pradesh i have completed nptel courses like uh, basic uh, electric circuits and digital circuits those are very not difficult can be medium and it it, it has 8 weeks course and 12 weeks course uh, assignments also uh, weekly once in a weekly once assignments and exam also good thank you my name is b venkat naidu i have been working as a senior section leader in indian railways i have attended the uh, intermediate level of spoken sanskrit sir the course is very nice sir design is very nice if it is further upgraded it would be very useful for indians in further especially this kind of uh, humanities i am much interested sir it's just like a uh, uh, soft skills and uh, creative writing and uh, such type of courses are the, these are very special and special sir because that uh, professor was are very the best of the knowledge so they are giving they are presenting very nicely and we are following very nicely all videos are very good uh, all videos are very good quality is good and their uh, pronunciation is good and their explanation is very good uh, is it uh, useful for this uh, course yeah for the upgrading uh, uh, not only for upgrading the knowledge and upgrading the, our mentality also and uh, our ethics also will improve if such type of courses are completed in uh, inpt already uh, january courses are open uh, uh, have i have applied for uh, design practice design. by uh, 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 given by uh, professor santanu bhattacharya of iit kanpur because i am my background is mechanical engineering background i have completed ami assignments are very nice sir actually assignments are very tough compared to examination Uh, if you uh, if you are afraid of assignments we may not come to examination but uh, if we see the examination we <laughs> we, uh, we feel that uh, okay there there is some soft card mm. yes yes assignments are very very tough i have completed all uh, eight assignments okay sir um afshan i am a student at st joseph university pune uh, i appeared for uh, i enrolled for two courses in uh, swayam so today was my first exam it was with uh, gender and literature um, the course was pretty good all the videos were very informative and it's not like the similar questions are there in uh, uh, assignments and the final exam over here uh, most uh, most of the questions during assignments were easy but Uh, here we were given uh, essay type questions as well which was unexpected uh, the progress g- given um, in the portal is uh, uh, helpful in understanding whether we are learning well or not whether we need to refresh particular concept or not so uh, i'm happy with the course thank you i'm sahiti from triplet basar 
and overall the nptel exam is very good uh, if we exactly follow the their videos and assignments do it very regularly we will easily be able to write the exam and it 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 is to the standards of students and very interesting and very educating as of now i have seen pv cells it's good so i want to learn linear control systems also my name is deepika i am from vr siddhartha engineering college and today i enrolled earthquakes in foundations and the course was very easy and the lectures were very explaining very clearly everything and in today's exam most most of the questions are from assignment and you have to practice sums and this will help you in future career i would like to do c++ but uh, i am from civil side so i choose in earthquakes and uh, foundations so that you can know how to construct a building foundations and all the when when earthquake occur the building should uh, should be in a strong manner so you can know everything by this mptel courses i am fremesh working as assistant professor in the aims in mangalagiri uh, then my basic course in basics in uh, biomedical research Uh, it is very useful. So all the lectures and the handouts, and they are given the books, uh, special books, and the all the uh, journals and uh, uh, some uh, papers they are given, which are very useful. Actually, uh, I have experience of that all years. Actually, I have not done much of. Uh, I have done all the clinical work. Till now, I am not uh, that much interested in the research. After attending this research, is very useful. No need to go anywhere. After two three hours of every day, I can uh, study without going to any class. In this, uh, especially COVID situation, it helps very more. I can learn something more during uh, for my future. So I am mostly retired principal doctor. Uh, I teach for competitive examinations, the bank, LIC, and all others. So I have already completed three courses, and now I am doing four courses here. And during COVID, I did other three courses for which I didn't appear for the exam because they were conducted on the same day. Now I am writing effective writing, feminist writing, language and literature, and now this one is um, uh, applied linguistics. These are the subjects. And the assignments, but the paper is model is different. They have included descriptive, and we were not informed about it, and we don't know how it is uh, to be used. Previously, 100 marks were given and they were reduced to 75. Now they have given only for 75 marks. These are the two uh, difficulties we cannot do. I am not a computer savvy and I could not answer all the uh, questions in time because of not lack of subject but lack of uh, computer knowledge. This is my personal problem, but everything else uh, by NPTEL is nice. Okay, thank you. My name is Director Rai Paridi. Uh, I am from Andhra Air College, Vijayawada. i did a course on uh, spec uh, spectroscopy uh, which is uh, given by um, professor from iit madras uh, the course was interesting but the paper was very difficult so we need more uh, uh, concentration and more time to practice because of uh, my busy schedule i could not practice well yeah it's definitely very useful very useful for uh, teachers very useful for teachers the course was very nice the professor gave very nicely yeah assignments were also good and a few of the questions from assignments were also there in the paper but uh, fi- uh, the paper was very difficult the course was like that not the paper is the course was like that so when i happened to see the last year's uh, toppers uh, the one who got 53 percentage was there in the top five I was surprised to see that so thanks for the professor and uh, thanks for the uh, th- thanks for in ptl so i am doing few courses uh, i wrote one organic chemistry uh, given by professor from iit madras uh, not uh, iit bombay and one course i am doing in analytical chemistry which i have to attempt uh, in the afternoon so so thank you very much so i am kirtana pranalika and i am studying second year btech csc in jnet hyderabad so i have done few courses in nptel present i wrote um, nptel the like, uh, joy of computing in python so the course is quite interesting i have learned so many things regarding python like general python 
and different modules in Python. I have watched all videos and I have submitted all the assignments. Uh, the assignments are quite interesting and it's challenging also. And coming to the exam, it was easy, like if you prepared well. And few questions are from assignments and few are like good. So overall writing is fine. It's very good. We can improve our knowledge by doing these courses. And they totally uh, develop our career. Yeah, I had done C in my first year. That course also fine. Like the instructor is very friendly. We started from scratch to the total in detail. So I have completed and I have achieved silver badge in my first year, first sem. And this is my second course. Thank you. So my name is Dee Srilakshmi from PVP Siddhartha Institute of Technology, Vijayawada. So now, uh, in this time, I registered uh, for the course Introduction to Research. So it is very useful in my uh, research area. So especially, so it enhances my knowledge uh, to actually identify, how to identify the research areas and uh, how to communicate with the different areas of the people to identifying the objectives of the research as well as uh, how to uh, find and uh, retrieve and capture the data from different sources to use full in the application development as well as in research also. So, uh, previously I registered uh, as technical courses but uh, this time, so this is the special course to improve my knowledge in the research and how to find out the research areas as well as how to uh, find out the new topics uh, and also how to write the objectives especially uh, in uh, computer science. So IoT along with uh, machine learning uh, and the narrowed courses in that also. So how to actually uh, retrieve the data from uh, different uh, sources of the IoT devices and also uh, how to uh, maintain and how to store in the cloud. So that related course I want to, uh, I mean register in the previous, uh, uh, in the coming years to, uh, it is useful in my research area. Thank you. I am going to the HID course is the second course. So I am going to the time I am going to the time I am going to the time I Plus, I have videos and studies and work easy work to work easy and easy. It is not easy. It is the standards. It is very satisfactory. Next morning, you can work on the next day. You can work on the next day. And my sister has a English communication skills and training. You can work on the next day. 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 Because I am working on finance company. For advancing my career in my company, that best suit to make a company. Of course, I don't think it's good to do this. Thank you. Thank you. My name is Ajit. I'm from Sastra University from Tanjavar. So today I enrolled for science with computing with the MATLAB. The exam was moderate and uh, like the arrangements are was good and the uh, conduction of exam was fairly good enough and uh, it, you can completely learn assignments. The models are uh, the models are repeated in assignments are asked in the question paper and the questions are of moderate level. That's it. Yeah, I, I would like to go for propulsion kind of thing. Propulsion, aerospace propulsion. Aerospace propulsion. My name is B. Mohan and I am working in PVP Siddhartha Engineering College in Vijayawada. So, while joining the course, I am very interested to learn the new subject. When we are going to learn something, uh, definitely whatever we don't know, we want to know that things. So, nowadays solar energy is very interesting area and upcoming area, a future of the area. So, I have chosen to learn uh, very much about the PV systems design and the lectures taught by sir is very well and we scored very well in the internal examinations. So, in assignments, but even though it is a very new subject for us, uh, we learned a lot and we, we have done your best. But uh, while coming to the external examination that is online uh, for whatever the things they are giving in the fill, fill in the blanks. 
so when we are solving the problem they have given very big problems even though we solve the problems whether that answer is correct or not we are not able to decide and uh, we are losing our confidence so next time uh, we are request not only my request uh, so many people so they are sharing with me that it is better to give the uh, options so if you give the answers in the options after solving the answer we may choose and we may get the confident so we are requesting you to and uh, when we are learning something we are learning the new subject and for that point of view whatever the lecture start by the lecture in the assignment and whatever they have given the problems on uh, not even single problem also they are not giving so it is completely somebody is teaching and somebody is framing the questions it's all 0% matching so please i request on behalf of everybody so please uh, make a correction in that so it is useful to all thank you thank you very much i am dr srikant professor of physiology working at kunnamanen medical college i was taking the mptl course for long time since 5 years I was just now taking neuroscience, demystifying the brain, cognitive psychology. I was very much interested in the biological courses which are relevant to me. The assignments are good. And uh, for certain courses like uh, neuroscience, if some PDFs or lecture material are available, that will be very good. Thank you. Sir, my name is Pawan Kumar. I am in Kakarpath Bhavanarana College in Vijayawada. I am in the college of NPTEL. So, I am in the college of Python and Python. I am in the college of 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 Java and Joy of using Python. I am in the cloud computing. So, in the future, we will promote the main courses in the future. SQL related courses and database related courses. Because we have front-end models already. We have to use NPTEL as well as back-end courses. We have to use Oracle, MongoDB, React JS, Node.js. We have to use back-end courses. We have to use a degree complete. We have to use a lot of interviews in the future. We have to use a lot of NPTEL certificates. We have to use a lot of NPTEL certificates. We have to use a lot of NPTEL certificates. For an post and so on the bag and people use open day. So every year, like a year, what I mean, only promote just the NPTEL pillar join a volunteer. That's it. My very Kalyan, uh, college is just PVP. Siddha, the assignments and the complete JC exam coach. I know on the difficulty guy, then I got it and feel it. But any questions, Adam Chegal, you know, 50 questions, no, what are 10 to 5 math, no, conjun custom and pitch me, can you make any part of the. सबमिट जेस है ना प्रेजेंट आई थी ना ना जावा अनु सी मात्र में एंडरलाइन आंसर फ्यूचर ला इनका हाँ कॉलेज का इनका सपोर्टिव सपोर्ट का उन्नीत दिन आते हैं तो नेम वाला जेसी टाइम सेंस ये ना पर शिव कुमार ने केली में उसी ला जॉब किया था ना एसोसिएट प्रोफेसर का कंपटीशन डिपार्टमेंट का अनुनी so, being well, and the first and uh, first and foremost thing, the uh, course will uh, chala chala uh, things made to no? and also assignments which is again done and the assignments only levels work and the extreme levels work on and to a little bit uh, hard and a little bit uh, easy and in the uh, medium level on my name. So, uh, assignments baga may practice shape on all right, we examine it much easier. And finally, in the end, the exam assignments questions every to chase ammo. इच में जगह आलान टे मॉडल क्वेश्चन से राह तो माला मैं इजी का तम चेयर सोचूं ये एग्जाम और फाइनली एंड एंड टे ये एग्जाम आई तो माला मैं अंतु नेट फोन ना हो प्रोग्रामिंग इसी एस वेल एस इन जावा लो फ्यूचर एंड एंड टे इनका पाइथन विद डेटा साइंस गानी ये पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग गानी वीट में इधर so, today, I am in VRS, and actually, I am in VRS. So, in the NPTEL course, I am in the first course. The course is very important to be problem solving through C. I am in the assignments, I am in the regular videos, I am in the assignments, I am in the regular videos, 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 
ఆ అసైన్మెంట్స్ కంటే ఇప్పుడు ఈ రోజు రాసిన ఎగ్జామ్ కొంచెం ఈజీగా అనిపించింది కాకపోతే ఇప్పుడు నేను ఫ్యూచర్ లో ఇంకా ఫర్దర్ గా ఎన్పిటిఎల్ లో అంటే పైతాన్ లాంగ్వేజ్ అంటే ప్రోగ్రామింగ్ లాంగ్వేజ్ జావా సి ప్లస్ ప్లస్ అవి కూడా చేద్దాం అనుకుంటున్నాను సో ఎన్పిటిఎల్ చాలా హెల్ప్ అవుతుందని నాకు అనిపిస్తుంది నా కెరియర్ కి హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ ఐ డాక్టర్ ఎంబికి శ్రీవాణి అసోసియేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ from the department of sciences and humanities vigyan's foundation for science technology and research dbtb university i came here to write nptel exam uh, this nptel exam whatever they provided the material is very good and the teaching from the faculty the professors they thought very well very good explanation they have given and we enjoyed a lot at the same time and they have they have also given the time for us to do the assignments and doubt clarification is also there and i am very much interested uh, to do this course basically i am an environmentalist uh, in further in the future also i will try to do many courses as possible thank you from uh, kl university i am a faculty so i came here for writing the nptel exam so this is my second course in nptel uh, but i had completed many uh, other online courses uh, uh, in different platforms um what uh, uh, to, to what i had came here to give the feedback is uh, uh, it is having a particular center based examination that is good for uh, uh, writing it and uh, a proper evaluation will be there because uh, other platforms are offering in a different way uh, I, i hope you can understand that and uh, one more thing uh, the major thing which i had observed here is uh, i am from other state uh, so i couldn't able to understood uh, telugu clearly partially i can understood the communication made here is completely on telugu little english is there i can manage it but if it is on english then it can be better during the instruction time i had uh, gone for a google cloud platform so assignments i had submitted it is uh, having 25% evaluation as in the criteria and uh, as per the uh, completion of assignments and the score over there i had been uh, came here for the exam thank you my name is vedak nakil and i am from uh, triple d m kanjipuram i enrolled in a course called uh, managerial economics uh, the overall course was good but uh, uh, the today i attended the exam of this man this course but some of the assignment questions repeated in the exam so it was a bit uh, moderate exam was a bit moderate uh, not yet uh, i'm planning to enroll a few few more courses in nptel uh, yes this is a, this, this course is uh, uh, is useful for my career uh, my favorite courses are uh, related to machine learning and uh, artificial intelligence and some of the business courses also uh, i'm interested in i'm interested in some of the business courses also i am rudram devi from pvt siddhartha institute of technology vijayawada i have appeared for two courses in nptel and all the courses have been run very well there was a lot of guidance from the resource persons and what i feel is in spite of the pandemic situation we were able to have a lot of uh, support even from this block of the institution and uh, the courses went on very well we enjoyed the process of learning and throughout the course we felt that it was very useful and it attracted our attention and caught the interest of the uh, candidate and uh, i feel very happy to learn through nptel and uh, the exam was conducted very promptly and there were uh, ample facilities at the center and the entire process of uh, learning and teaching went on very well throughout my uh, uh, gain for knowledge i enjoyed a very comfortable uh, stay and uh, thanks to the efforts laid by our spark in order to support us in all aspects for registration of the examination also for uh, enabling us to learn uh, the content thoroughly and to appear for more and more number of courses so thanks to the efforts laid by nptel and iit madras also thank you my name is sri harsham from lakhreddy baladi college of engineering mailavaram uh, the joy of computing python how was the assignments 
the science the assignments were easy in the online but no questions have come from the assignment in the exams only i, I saw only one question that is from the assignments all the assignment level easy or difficult assignments assignments are medium sir medium. not so difficult not so easy all the exam exam is pretty easy sir i completed the exam in 45 minutes okay. have you gone through any further courses no sir this is the only one course i have gone through this is the first course yes sir okay. have, have you gone through the course i think in the college itself yes sir uh, how do you find the difference in college teaching and hospital teaching so maybe you are listen some videos yes sir so professors are teaching some videos yes sir okay. so based on that uh, videos assignments are there or both are different both are different sir some of the assignments are different sir uh, the remaining are easy thank you sir thank you uh, my name is satvik bhargav i am from pvp siddhartha institute of technology uh, today i have been here to write uh, introduction to embedded systems exam this is my third nptel course in this uh, engineering program uh, this course has been very useful not only to gain knowledge but also to do my regular uh, curricular activities as i am having a subject erts embedded real, in real time systems uh, with this uh, course i have even i used i used even this course in doing my projects which is very helpful i understood the basic working of uh, embedded systems and how to operate well in electronics apart from this i have done few courses like signals and systems and switching theory logic design which uh, enormously helped in getting my campus placements so nptel courses are not just useful uh, to gain knowledge they are useful in every uh, real time situation like to do some projects uh, get campus placement or explore new fields in your specific course thank you thank you for the opportunity thank you thank you sir for introducing us nptel thank you how was the exam today difficult easy yeah the exam was well structured uh, they make us feel comfortable by giving few of the questions which we know not just direct questions but they change the concept which we wrote in the assignments and a uh, few new questions they, it's perfectly planned and well set uh, in uh, different sets of difficult and easy orders few questions would be easy so that get as warm up then they get into the exam uh, very difficult part and we need to do some problems and then answer Until I I just worked on the courses of my core, so which are signals and systems as I mentioned earlier, switching theory, logic design, and uh, embedded systems. Uh, nothing, no, no thing is less or more. Everything has its unique way of explanation in doing this. This course uh, especially helped us in doing projects as I have told you earlier. They gave us uh, real time examples. They gave us kits also. They provided us kits. This is in tie up with AICTE. Moo course, yeah, Texas Instrumentations. They provided the college even with the kits so as to we can do our mini projects and uh, flourish uh, further in this uh, field of electronics and communication. Thank you, sir. Srijana, Kerala University, I am from Vijay Wada, Ecology Environment. Yeah, it was very cool. It was very supportive for uh, students. I mean, we can learn easily and we can write exam. And the questions were uh, not so direct and not so indirect. If we can study, if we study properly, we can attempt the exam very easily. Uh, like uh, related to database management and uh, distributed computing, we can attempt the co the courses which are very uh, they have more knowledge about these courses, so we can attempt these courses in the end of the year. No, yeah, I have I've used the live sessions because by reading the uh, we can get totally knowledge by listening to the videos we can get uh, I mean how they are uh, uh, because they have read many books and they get many uh, have more knowledge, so we can get more information from live videos than reading. I'm going for distributed computing. Wow. Yeah, that was core course in our college. Uh, yeah, I've gone through that, but I haven't applied for anything. I'll go and apply. Yeah, uh, my name is Dr. Sushil Sharma, and uh, I am working in Ames Mangalgiri here in the Department of Pharmacology. I'm an additional professor in the department. I've just uh, given the exam for the basic course in research methodology. Yeah, uh, the course was good. In fact, uh, uh, I saw the videos which were there, and there were you know ten MCQs for each video, so I went through them. I think the course was very interesting and uh, not very taxing. I think we were able to do it without much of a problem. I think the exam was uh, mostly based on things that were already, you know, uh, covered in the course. So there were a few things which I thought uh, uh, were not in the course because, uh, as far as I am concerned, I did not read, uh, uh, you know, any other book. I just went through the course material. So 
I was able to attempt uh, most of the questions. On I think maybe about five to ten percent questions were uh, not in the course. The others were from the course. Yeah, video is good. Video is good. In fact, of course, like all courses, uh, some speakers were better than the others, and uh, you know, uh, there were some speakers who were uh, you know, going into things which are more than the slides. So the so some were uh, you know better than the others, but overall, I think they were good. Yeah, I think uh, uh, first of all, uh, I am doing this course even though it is not mandatory for me. But I thought uh, it's a good way to know about uh, how to conduct research, and uh, generally, you know, uh, once we when we do such courses, we get to know about the certain things which we normally don't come across. So tomorrow, when we have students to guide or PG students, I think we'll be able to do it in a much better fashion after this course. No, I haven't gone through so far, uh, but uh, maybe I'll go back, and I believe there are a lot of courses in Swayam. And uh, I'll maybe select one course, maybe two courses, uh, which I should be able to do during my routine duties, because it will be difficult to you know take out time separately for this. So I'll go through them, and uh, hopefully maybe I'll select one course which I'll do maybe in the next one year. Thank you very much. Yeah, that's all. That's all. I think the arrangements are also good, and uh, uh, I think it's a good initiative where uh, we have got material uh, in one place. And uh, we can do it at our own time, so there was no force as such. So you could do this course in the last three four months, whatever time. So you could do it on your mobile, on your iPad, wherever. So I think it's a good initiative. I think. Uh, I think. Uh, Like I said, I have not gone through the courses yeah. what are already existing, so I will not be able to yeah, give you. Definitely, please go through. Yeah, I'll go through it. Uh, and uh, January twenty twenty one courses are available. Okay. And uh, suggest you uh, give back. Uh, yeah, I'll I'll go through the list of courses and maybe if there is something which can be added, yes. I will surely suggest. Yeah. My name is Dr. Yash Suresh. I'm doing my Assistant Professor in Biochemistry in Penamne Nay Medical College in Ganwaram, and I am doing this. For the first time, that is cycle two. Uh, that is in the basic course in medical research. Uh, first, I thought that it was very hard, I think. But based on the topics as well as the lectures given by this and handouts are very make them very easy. But this in small uh, changes in this uh, we prepared for some this. But due to some co this COVID situation, we are just lagging this and we are not up to this. and after getting in some time we got and this date was announced very sharply that's why we are not prepared so well but as the questions was it was good the ah, assignments are very good compared to so what we are doing this course is very useful to for us so he is my colleague also ah uh, he is associate professor doctor i am dr dipak sir bike machine associate professor uh, this course is useful because we can apply in any research activities or uh, in further studies but this exam we are uh, unfortunate because we had a short time for the mbbs uh, for preparation exams everything are going on for our preparation is little bit uh, difficult i think i have going through the endocrinology what is uh, endocrinology and microbial molecular biology that's also very good what what i seen few lectures i had gone through but didn't do the assignments if you view this courses for like this session basis like the, we have uh, searched for this biotechnology and nanotechnology endocrinology just after knowing this this course was already submitted we are having a uh, don't have a chance to enroll for it because the time is over if you give the time for both the sessions like 6 months after this six months like cycle 1 and cycle 2 then it will be helpful for for them courses are already rerun courses are yeah Uh, that's why we are waiting for this endocrinology because this will be useful for our research purpose also. Thank you. Hi everyone, my name is Roja Pushpa. Currently pursuing third year B Tech in V R Siddhartha Engineering College. Today I am here to write NPTEL exam in our T C S I M Digital. I think uh, exam is uh, very interesting. All are come from my assignment videos and lectures. It is very interesting. and uh, for the courses i enrolled in nptel uh, introduction to our software and it is very good thank you my name is suresh 
from physics faculty i'm working in andhra engineering college the subject is of physics so yeah, i'm done my exam <coughs> solid state physics so this is very useful to the teacher to to enhance uh, their knowledge so it is a very useful and you can get a certificate e certificate okay uh, so we'll uh, assignments pdf assignments pdf assignments pdf okay so assignments theory so assignment questions and the uh, exam questions related questions okay any other questions yes. any upcoming courses you need to upcoming courses uh, generally generally okay i want i want to enter all other courses related to the physics it to enhance my knowledge in teach or in best way to the students thank you i am vijay shekhar sanil i have attended the course called uh, power system analysis of professor dabapriya das from iit madras i have made all the assignments from 1 to 12 in those uh, best 8 uh, are selected for me uh, in in line with the uh, online assignments so the question paper is uh, somewhat tough today and they have matched the all the course particulars if students are preparing and giving the best then they can absolutely answer all the questions this is my feedback about my course thank you which courses you are i attended in infotel i am from electrical engineering background so i do prefer electrical engineering courses yeah i have gone through the january courses yeah i have gone through january to december course uh, july courses and uh, my exam is on power system analysis 2021 courses already open yeah 2021 yeah i have gone through 2021 course also my next course will be on uh, power electronics these courses useful for upgrading yes it is very much useful for upgrading our knowledge and uh, my suggestion or my requirement is the questions should be somewhat uh, of a basic level all of them are of very high level so students can't score maximum even in the gate exam also they will uh, differentiate in the difficulty levels here in this the difficulty level is very much high these assignments are related to yeah, as assignments and videos are somewhat mismatching because uh, in all the assi- assignments the questions are of higher level and the videos are somewhat have to be upgraded so not all we are not finding on the assignments that's it dr srinivas lu working as a professor of civil engineering in gudlaal engineering college i came here now to write uh, the online uh, nptel exam for uh, structural analysis subject so i already it is actually a 16 week uh, sorry 12 week course only i have already read, submitted the 12 assignments uh, assignments are meant for only 25 marks this external examination is meant for 75 marks there in the 25 marks i have scored already 23.25 marks but i came here to write the external examination which is also online examination uh, in structural analysis subject especially uh, whatever the time they give for 3 hours it is not at all sufficient i really it was a tough job for me to complete or to write all the questions within 3 hours time uh, so some actually it is consisting of four different uh, uh units uh, first unit and the third unit are consisting of one mark questions only unit 2 and unit 4 are consisting of two marks questions uh, of course uh, but the way they are organizing the particular examination is so uh, good actually because because of the system only both the it is it is going to be helping for both students as well as faculty member to get more interest in the subject so uh, if it is a, if he is a teacher and if he is writing this type of examinations definitely it will be good inspiration for the teacher to learn uh, the subject and uh, the particular capability in that subject will be definitely improved so uh, likewise actually in the education system also uh, this type of uh, uh, online examinations must be attended by all the faculty members so that uh, uh, it, it uh, the management or uh, the engineering college should make it is compulsory for all the teachers once if they want to be master in a particular subject Uh, they need to score good marks in the subject then only he will be getting eligibility to teach the students in an effective way that's why so my intention is actually this type of online examinations must be encouraged uh, in all the semesters 
such that it is going to be beneficial for the uh, students also that they get very good excellent teacher and it is not only meant for teachers even students can also write these examinations so this type of examinations will be always helpful for both the students as well as the teachers so thank you very much uh, my name is uh, supriya this is my first course i have taken german and coming to the assignments assignments are bit easy like we are able to understand and write complete the assignments after watching the videos but coming to the exam it is i feel it is a little uh, bit difficult uh, yeah, and questions on assignments to end the exam yeah audio questions and few of uh, imperative type questions or some assignment question which course is your most be interested in because you want to i would like to uh, do few courses on programming on nt Thank you. I'm Farooq Beg from PVP Siddhartha Institution of Technology. I have taken problem solving through programming in C. Most of the questions from uh, assignments only, and some few are from uh, object oriented. Sorry, and exam was almost easy. So my name is Venkat, working as assistant professor in uh, private medical college, Nimra Medical College. So I was applied for the exam that is basic course in biomedical research. so it is very helpful for me so because i was applied for the phd course so while going for phd exam it will be very helpful for the first year students so here the basic course of biomedical research has given the details about the uh, ethical issues the next uh, what are the criteria for selection of uh sample collection sample size then importance of the ethical issues so next uh, they have given the sample size sample collection sample procedure so here it will be very helpful for the research students so next thing is the basic uh, biomedical process uh, they have given the uh, for every a uh, research scholar or teacher or scientist should follow the biomedical research course so it is knowledgeable uh, course why because in first year phd exam we are having the biomedical research and then biostatistics while going for the clear of uh, first year exam so it will be very helpful for me so i was applied in biomedical uh, basic course in biomedical research so next uh, applied for the biomedical uh, biostatistics so i was applied for the second cycle so now i have written the uh, exam here how was the assignments how was the exam so assignments are nice so it has they have given 100 questions 100 multiple choice so the time is 180 minutes so it is nice uh, we, uh, we can easily uh, write the exam so for online exam online course those the videos everything will be very helpful for the students those who are pursuing phd subject or research or uh, pay publications so those who are going to uh, present the papers publications so these will be uh, very helpful for the research students and the scientists good morning sir my name is radhika i am studying 3 by 4 btech in vyas siddhartha engineering college I have completed one course in uh, NBTEL uh, session. Uh, the course name is uh, Ethical Resistance and uh, Designing Foundations. Uh, this is uh, so much information and uh, very valuable uh, need to the present uh, in the civil engineering stream. So for this, it is important to like the exam and uh, good or uh, exam is also good. And pattern also better. It is easy to write uh, all mostly. So uh, also thank you. Morning, myself. I am Mukul Jain Shankar from Prasad Vikotiri Siddhartha Institute of New Technology, Vijayawada. Today I write my exam. I enroll problem solving through programming in C exam. We do weekly assignments. That we learn very well because of self. It is it is like a self learning course. Feel we have to learn from basics in this 
I learn C from here. I learn C three times, but I learn nothing. By through this MBBS course, I learn C thoroughly. And well, the after learning is I write exams like EPA. I write EPA exam. Not I scored well. You can hear twenty questions in here. I answered all the questions. Answered all the questions in that exam. Today I write my exam. They are related to the topics whatever they are covered through the lecture videos. Thank you. My name is Sukhila. I am faculty member. Uh, working as assistant professor in, in Department of Biotechnology, Krishna University. Myself, Dr. Anjit Kumar Reddy. I am working in Ames, Mangalagiri. So, I have registered for the basic course of Biomedical Research, BCBMR exam. So, this was my first uh, course in NPTEL. And the first time examination I had given. So, today's session it was good. Uh, there were three different sections given: section one, section two, and section three. Section one considered twenty-five uh, questions. Section two it was twenty-five. Again, section three it was fifty questions. So overall, hundred MCQs for three hours duration. So everything was good. Uh, no issues. So I have registered for one more course in NPTEL, uh, which is Patent and Law course. So and it is very useful also all NPTEL courses. Uh, And further, uh, I'm interested to go for uh, some more courses as it uh, gets advertisement and the time comes. Yeah. Lectures and assignments are very so, and every week there will be a mail and message to that uh, the new course is up updated, new assignment is released. All those are good. Doubt clarification and all used to uh, used to be good. Instructor used to respond very uh, easily and uh, uh, like uh, timely. He used to respond. Hmm. Thank you. Good morning, Andy. Myself, uh, Dr. Rahul Kumar, Professor and Head of Mechanical Engineering, uh, Prasad V. Kotlari, Siddharth Institute of Technology, Vijayawada. Programming in C course. All the assignments are good. Especially the programming exercise they have given. Uh, Thought-provoking programs they have given. Even in the examinations also, it is uh, moderately given. That all the questions are given moderately, and it is uh, good. Okay, all the questions are uh, neatly framed, and. Uh, Only thing is that uh, what I understood is all the answers what we have given in this examination may not be displayed even uh, even afterwards. That's what I uh, got the information from the email. So what are the questions and what are the answers what uh, mm, we have given and what are the correct answers if we also given that may be useful for uh, uh, useful for the candidate to improve his knowledge. Thank you. Normally, though I am mechanical engineer, but I want to go with the programming side. No, not the registered sir because of the covid day, so this course was already registered in previous uh, covid day. i mean during the covid day, i just concentrated only this one but uh, this semester i have not enrolled future i will enroll thank you sneha i am from pvp siddhartha college and i have written exam very well and this is for uh, problem solving through yeah. c i have written all assignments i have scored good marks in them Cyber security. Yes. Dr. P. Vishnu, Associate Professor in Anna Chennai, working in National Medical College. Uh, I, I'm. I did a, a basic course in biomedical research, and the assignment board they have given is uh, the same thing they have asked, and this is very useful for my research career. I I I understood some basics from these courses. Okay, so I learned some basics, which will be really helpful to apply in my research. statistics yeah 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 i'm interested so we can learn some basics in statistics also yeah so i charita i'm from nr institute of technology and this is my third course in nptel uh, so this course is very helpful to me in future purpose i mean like uh, for uh, job placements or any like that uh, this course is uh, i mean enrolled in uh, internet of things and uh, in past i have enrolled in like uh, java dbms and uh, programming c uh, the questions uh, are very helpful to me uh, how many assignments in modern uh, in i have enrolled in 12 weeks uh, courses in 12 weeks i have completed uh, About ten assignments. All comments page numbers are very helpful. Those interested in Java, uh, it is very helpful to me in uh, web development course. 
in this we have enrolled in uh, dbms i mean database management system and uh, internet of things okay i'm from andhra university b pharm c and i have enrolled in introduction to organic chemistry one the course assignments are very useful for the beneficial for the exam very related very related to the uh, pharmacy field and the main exam is somewhat bit difficult the problems are bit difficult but uh, in the assignment uh, in the assignments basing on the structures it is it could be easy but uh, in the final exam uh, it would be of difficult in manner and uh, problems are difficult so feedback in the sense i would like to go on saying that uh, you must ke- keep forward in uh, problems explaining in deep manner for the benefit of the students thank you production technology thank you from educati basar i took the course of uh, control systems and uh, it is very nice if we are perfect in assignments we can tackle the uh, equations in the exam very easily i feel very happy after li- writing this i am sekar virupaj i am from iit madras uh, i have done the three courses in nptel this year so today was the exam of discrete max the assignments were relatively uh, not very tough but the course was very interesting and the exam was almost uh, in the assignment level and it was a uh, Very, very good very nice to write the exam and the questions were very challenging yeah, i will take a course in python for data science the course four week course and another uh, introduction to uh, uh, internet of things course and i am going to take them the, the courses in january 2021 semester namo sir and i am from iit tirupati i have enrolled for uh, embedded system introduction to embedded system design take assignments then assignments are comparatively uh, easier because uh, whatever uh, the lecturer start in uh, during the lecture those only are asked in assignment same repeated to exam same in exam also uh, because uh, when compared to assignment some of the questions are repeated from assignment some are like uh, not uh, some are like different questions but those are also uh, are easy to attempt because if you if you have gone through all the lectures and videos uh, we can easily attempt the questions and also um uh, the uh, the enbitel uh, is providing a very good platform to learn uh, on online and i am looking forward to join and enroll on more courses on enbitel this is ma and i have opted for the course project management for managers uh, in nptel and the overall course was uh, superb and the lecturer also gave a thought provoking sessions on uh, what the concept is and everything uh, i thought uh, the exam could be like more innovative like most of the questions are from assignment maybe he could uh, the question paper was can be like little bit concept like uh, innovative i thought that actually i am to go ahead with the machine learning and artificial intelligence for my further knowledge this k panindra sai from pvp siddhartha engineering college i came here to write the nptel design and analysis of algorithms exam i i completed all the assignments uh, there are uh, the, the course is of 8 weeks and there are Uh, there are uh, total eight assignments and uh, seven programming as- and uh, six programming assignments i completed all the assignments and programming assignments uh, i think this may be useful for uh, i am currently studying third year i think this may be useful for the placement season about to happen in our college i i as i am in third year i further see to learn the present uh, in trending courses like machine learning etc thank you pregnancy i am to see programming rasano assignments chaala manchi rasano assignments questions kuda konni kalsa ayyundo aa nenu pupa siddhartha college nunchi vachanu next nenu artificial intelligence teeskundam anukuntunnanu future lo naaku use avvali ani cheppi easy ga chaala questions vachayi sir cheppina varaku ekku vachayi bite avi raakunda ekku ga abbe vachu my name is peter da prasad i am from kakanada jntu i did my nlp course in nptel i recommend every student to participate in nlpl uh, nptl exam
assignments most of the questions will be based on the assignments only all the best welcome sir my name is sam sri bala i am working as a senior assistant professor at the great valley college of engineering in the department of computer science and engineering sir easy sir very easy to answer assignments coming to the examination point of view it is good we can answer uh, we prepare we can answer easily all the questions which uh, focusing on the research introduction to research uh, i have gone through that course sir. it's good you already in five courses sir four to five courses on the professor of yearly at medical college Providing the opportunity, I'm really interested in different courses like artificial intelligence and uh, machine learning, which are more relevant to the medical field nowadays. The computational systems. So I would like and I would request MPTL to provide different courses integrating medicine and computers. Thank you. Thank you. This is uh, An Ramesh Babu. I am the aspirant of uh, NBTL exam and was 98 Emirates introduction to Emirates system design. Today I have uh, written my exam and BTL certification course. So the exam quality is uh, somewhat better, but uh, what we have expected that is beyond the <laughs> expectation the questions have come. uh better uh, uh like okay it is uh, maybe for the students and uh, all uh, can able to uh, reach that level it is a uh, good next time uh, i will hope uh, join in uh, next semester uh, nbtl certification course thank you